Let's move on. Um, for correct use of a noun in a sentence, we will have to be familiar with four aspects of a noun. I'm going to start the formal start of our Arabic grammar with noun. Um, most of you remember, certainly I remember that um, when I started learning English, we started with a verb. But in Arabic, um, because we can make sentences without verb in Arabic, so it's completely okay to start with noun. And you will see that it will make sense to start with noun. So I was saying that for correct use of a noun um, in an Arabic sentence, we will have to be familiar with four aspects of a noun. If we, we will have to examine a noun from four different angles. And if we are not familiar with these four attributes of a noun, we are going to make mistakes in the formation or formulation of sentences. For example, we will have to know whether a noun is definite or indefinite. Definite or indefinite. Okay, it's going up. Right. Um, in English, we loosely say um, proper noun, translation of this, or common noun. Common noun is okay, but proper noun is actually a category of definite noun. One of the categories of definite noun is proper noun, and we will see that there are other six other categories of definite noun later on. So proper, the concept of proper noun and common noun doesn't really apply here. Definite or indefinite. And in Arabic, we say marifa or nakira. So from its definiteness point of view, a noun will either be marifa or nakira. And we will study this topic under the heading of um, wus'a. Wus'atun, we can translate that as capacity of a noun. In English, I remember we said um, the kind of noun or the type of noun, whether a noun is proper noun or a common noun. But that concept doesn't really apply here. We will have to say either a noun is definite or indefinite. Marifa or Nakira. And uh, the concept of wusa, its capacity, makes sense here. For example, if I have 30 people sitting in front of me and I say, can Hamad fetch me a glass of water? So hopefully Hamad will go and bring me a glass of water. On the other hand, if I say, can someone fetch me a glass of water, please? So the capacity here, the possibility here is one out of 30 now. Initially, our, uh, the, the capacity was limited, there was only one person, hopefully there was only one Hamid there. So the capacity of that noun was limited, but when I said, when someone, when it became nakira, when it became, it became indefinite, so the possibility increased, its um, capacity became wider. So common noun has a wider capacity. Indefinite noun has wider capacity. On the other hand, indefinite. On the other hand, definite noun is bound to have a limited capacity. So we will look at this one day, this topic in detail. This is just the introduction. 
Um, next, we will have to know whether a noun is masculine or feminine. In English, most of the time, it doesn't really matter. In Urdu, it does matter to some extent. In Arabic, it always matters to know whether a noun is masculine or feminine. Masculine or feminine. In Arabic, we say Muzakkar or Mu'annas. So we will have to know whether a noun is masculine or feminine. And this we are going to study under the topic of gender. In Arabic, we call it jinns. So in Arabic, from the gender point of view, a noun is only of two types, either masculine or feminine. There is no neutral gender in Arabic. And I have used the terminology masculine or feminine. I didn't say male or female. Male or female is more to do with the sex of a noun, and it applies to humans and lower animals. Um, but in reality, in Arabic, every noun can have a gender, which is which we call grammatical gender. For example, table, chair, book, column, they will all have gender. And without knowing that, uh, we will make a mistake. Um, just a quick example here, those who know Urdu, uh, we want to say in Urdu, the wall has fallen. In English, it doesn't really matter. In Urdu, if we say, Divar Gil Gaya, that will make sense, but grammatically incorrect, because Divar in Urdu is um, feminine. So the correct way of saying will be Divar Gil Gaya. So the wall has fallen in English, it doesn't really matter. In Arabic, this is very, very important. <clears throat> 